Surprise is probably the word to describe this. Motorola has sent me a gift box and everything inside it is quite interesting. Motorola shipped this from the United States and it came here after 3 weeks of shipping and I'm pretty excited to open this up. Basically, I went into the Motorola online store and texted the live chat. I asked the agent, let's say we have $20, what can I get? Anything special on the list? And the sales agent replied, there is something special we can do for $20. And here it is. This is the Motorola gift box as well as the extra. And I'm really excited to crack this open right now. There are two parts to this unboxing. First one, we have the main box, which is this blue color gift box, as well as a sub red color box. So the main box is quite large. I mean, I can't really show you on camera. Hmm, how can I? Oh yeah, okay, I'll just move it. Uh, towards the frame and can compare it with my hand, the Google Home Mini and the Moto gift box. Let's open the sub box. So this is the Motorola Tech Enthusiast pouch. So it comes from Mastark. I can't really pronounce it. Moto Mods. I'm not too sure what these are but it's basically a travel pouch customized to tech enthusiasts. So uh, this one, I don't really know what's too special about this. I think in the US it retails for about just 5 US dollars. The presentation is fairly simple, but all the more, this pouch is actually very nice. Like Motorola engraving on the bottom right. And let's open this up. So they included some protection, which is nice because it makes the pouch plough right from the start. So according to here, there's three different compartments with the logo on the left. There are three compartments, two on the sides. The sides are basically places where you should put your phone and the middle compartment for everything else. So for example, I can put my iPhone 8 into the right compartment, as well as my Galaxy S10 on the left. And then I still have the middle compartment which I can hold my card, I can hold a power bank, I can hold my wallet or anything else you can think of. But right now, let's say I want to put my Galaxy Note 8 inside as well. But unfortunately, it looks like it's a bit too short. Once you have zipped the pouch closed and ready to go, you can feel that there's actually some cushion on the left, bottom and right of the pouch. So if you drop your phone or you drop the pouch in general, uh, your contents will be protected. Like for example, you put the phone on the left and right, it will be protected in the inside. So you don't have to worry if you drop your phone. And now for the big boy. This is the Moto Gift Box. And let's crack it open. The material of the box is not the best, it's made out of tin, it's like those you know, biscuit tins you can get from the supermarket. Yeah, this is the kind of quality you are looking at for the box. But all in all, it looks, still looks like a very nice solid box and definitely something that it would be quite nice if we give it as a gift. And the content inside, yeah, right here. And yes, there's one thing that shifted, it came loose, so let's put it back. And yeah, let's see what's inside. First item from the box. We do have a monopod slash selfie stick and the hinge feels very premium and secure. However, it feels flimsy when you start to extend it out. There's also a wire, a 3.5mm jack to connect to your phone if your phone still has a headphone jack. And there's also a button if you want to take a selfie remotely if your phone do have that headphone jack. Next thing on the list, we do have a tripod stand. I've used many kinds of tripod stands before and I can say this is one of the better ones with no doubt. You can seamlessly adjust it to any angle or adjustment you, would, you might want. And yeah, it's very bendable and it just feels quite nice. Personally, I will not use it because it cannot accommodate to my GoPro. As you can see over here, there's no GoPro mount. And I have to use this phone mount which is too big for my GoPro. Next item in the box, hmm, this white color package looks a bit cheeky. So let's have a look at it. Okay, this is a bit disappointing. I'm not gonna open it up. It's just a SIM ejector tool with a with a uh, nano, micro, and normal SIM card adapters. I'm not sure who will need this. Everyone's using nano SIMs, even the cheap phones of 2021. So that's kind of useless. Let's move on. Next, we have cables. Yes, time to get more cable spaghettis all over my room. So over here, we have two types of cable. One normal, semi-long, 
micro USB cable. I think this is going to be used as one of the accessories for a product later in the Motorola gift box. And secondly, we have a braided cable, kind of nice. It supports USB Type C as well as Lightning and micro USB cable. I don't usually use braided cables or a third party accessory for cables, but to say this braided cable is really well built and well made. The next item also revolves around cable. We have a wired headset from Lenovo. If you don't already know, Motorola was bought by Lenovo a few years back when Google sold it to them for about 3.9 or 3 billion. I'm not too sure about that. Okay, anyway, let's crack open this up as I think these headphones will sound pretty good. I have a good feeling about them because if they're gonna make a earphone, it better be good. The unboxing experience and the presentation is hands down really good for a headphone like this. Cables are neatly wrapped and all the accessories in the box are well presented nicely. And you can see here the silicon tips are on the sides on the four corners. And you also do get your instruction manual which is very thick. It can be a whole bedtime story. Accessories aside, let's look at the headphone. I tested out this myself and the audio didn't impress me. It, I mean it's okay but you can't really give it as a gift. It's like the same thing you can get out of your phone box. Volume maxes out very high but very crumbly and low bass. Okay, let's put the headphone aside. That's a bit disappointing. And let's look at the last thing we have in the box. This green color slab we have in the box right here. It's not something that is very interesting. It's just a power bank. It's a 5000 mAh power one. Let's make sure there's nothing else in the box. Take out the styrofoam layer. And yeah, that's the last thing we have in the box. So this green color power bank, apart from looking quite nice, there isn't anything special about it. It's just a power bank, it has a capacity of 5000 mAh but it does feel quite nice although it's plastic but most power banks are made out of plastic. It has one USB port, a flashlight and it charges through micro USB, hence the micro USB cable given just now. And yeah, it's just a power bank, nothing too special about it. Since we have the full set now, I think I kinda know what's happening right now. This pouch is meant to hold your phone and all the accessories that you might need for your daily use. So let's try to fit as many as we can and yeah you could see that we can fit almost everything except for the tripod and monopod it zips up it is compact with almost everything you might need for the day however it is very heavy and i mean very so i put up my wing scale placed it onto it and it measured about 466 grams that's about three times the weight of my phone so if you are willing to carry all these accessories with the phone i can see why you might want this set Finally, I would like to thank Motorola's life agents for making this possible. Thanks for removing the shipping fee and bundling all this good stuff for me to make this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.